So, the other day, my custodian buddy, Mr. Scruggs, was in my room helping me fix one of my tables. And he looked around my room, which you guys have seen, and it's, there's a lot going on in here, I'm not going to lie. And he said, how long have you been here, Stevens? You know, because when you're at a school, it's like you're on a football team. You're only referred to by your other football players as your last name. So I'm always Stevens. Never played any sport in my life. Well, I take that back. I did play basketball, and I was terrible. I do this a lot when something is flying at me. But that's not what I'm talking about. How long have you been here, Stevens? So I did a little bit of math, which I'm not super great at, and so it's been about 15 years. And the reason I bring that up is because of this. A lot of times when you see pictures of my art room, and I feel this way when I see other art teachers' art rooms, I start to feel a little bit of art room envy. Not because of the size of my art room, which it is big, but because of just how much is done in this room how much has been hung up and decorated and organized and accomplished. And as a new teacher, I can only imagine that that feels very, very overwhelming. I've been here 15 years. I've had 15 years to get things where I like them, where they are working for me, and where I think they look nice and pretty. However, if I were walking into this room and it were my first year here, I would not be thinking about what kind of cutesy decorations to hang on my wall. I would be thinking about the bare bones. So, I'm here to chat with you today about if you're a new teacher or if you're new to a school, what is at the top of your list to get accomplished, not decorating wise. Scratch all that because that's icing on the cake. I'm talking about what's going to make it so your first day of teaching art is smooth sailing, even if your art room isn't as beautiful as you would have it be, which it'll get there eventually. So when it's that first week of school, I like to start with like completely organized, which is unusual for me, completely organized, clean slate. So I have like a little list of things that I like to have done that makes it so I can take a deep breath and relax and feel organized. So let me share some of those things with you. The first thing I usually do as soon as I get my schedule is I put together um, five folders, one for each day of the week. And on the front of each one of those folders, my schedule changes every day. And even the hour, the times that the kids come, changes every day. So uh, for my sanity's sake, I have cut out and taped what the day, what Wednesday looks like on the front of this folder and what Tuesday looks like. So on, for example, Wednesday, I have my folder out. I know what my day is going to look like and I oftentimes will jot down what I need to cover with every class because sometimes there's some things I need to touch on with every single class and I'd like to have that at a glance for me. And then this can get just peeled off and thrown away at the end. Inside this folder are class lists which is really helpful for me at the start of the year because I like to say hello to all of my students and have them respond with a hello Mrs. Stevens to me so we're learning each other's names. Also what this is great for is having um, the table codes which I haven't figured out yet where my friends are sitting so that also gets written right there my seating assignment gets written on this sheet. This works out great if you have a sub because you can, if you know the night before, you can just lay this out. It's got the schedule, it's got all of the classes, and it's got the seating chart in it also. Not only that, if you don't know that you're going to be out, well then your sub can easily find it based on the day of the week. So this is one of the first things I do that really helps me feel organized. And every day I can come in and know just at a glance what my day is going to look like. The other thing that I like to have organized that I think you need to have right off the bat are places to store student artwork. I have a bunch of these bins. These are the perfect size for smaller format art and usually at the start of the year we're working on smaller pieces of artwork. These bins also work great for sketchbooks. So I have one for every class and I just keep all artwork and sketchbooks in these bins. Getting these bins ready with the teacher's name on them really helps me out. In the past, I've even written what day of the week 
the students come and I have them in my bins in the order of which they come to my um, class during the week. So I know immediately I have to get out these seven bins for my day that week, or my, for my day, that's who's coming to me that day. Another thing that I have, which are like, these are the Bibles for me. One I keep with me at all times in my purse because I have a great big purse. And I'll show you what this looks like. And then my other one is my teacher planner, which is actually a bigger version of this guy. So let's start with this. This is just from the dollar dot the Target dollar spot, although the Dollar Tree would probably work. Inside, I like to keep a small calendar so that I can have everything going on in my life at school, at home, everywhere is in this bad boy. But in here, um, I always struggled with having lots of notebooks. Lots of notebooks in my purse with different kinds of notes. One for this, one for that. I'd always end up losing one. Having a little three ring binder that you can organize with tabs on different sub subjects that you're teaching or things that you want to keep organized works out really great, especially if they have pockets. This stays with me at all times. It operates as a to-do list. It works as a sketchbook for ideas for me. It works great for me. I've been struggling to find something for years and this is it, I found it. My art teacher planner stays here for the most part at school unless I'm lesson planning. This comes courtesy of Laura Lohman. She sells a fabulous planner on her Teacher Pay Teacher store, which I strongly recommend and I'll link in my blog. And I'm gonna show you how I've laid out this planner to make it work best for me. But before I do, just to review, getting those folders ready, a place to put your artwork, and having yourself organized is like a big weight lifted off your shoulders. It's going to make coming into the art room, even if it's not perfect, it's going to make your life a lot easier. So let's take a look at the planner.